The race and ethnicity story in the United States was a starting point for Larry when he did that work at the, at the Department of Commerce, and it was really important in defining sort of the urgency uh, of adoption. In our data, what's, what's really interesting about it is that when we first started measuring differences by race and ethnicity uh, in the year uh, 2000, they were independent predictors of non-use of, of the internet. In other words, no matter what your income was or your education level was, if you were African American, you were less likely uh, to use the internet than white Americans. Same with Hispanics compared with white Americans. That story has vanished, though, in the past decade. That, that it's usually a class story uh, more than a race story in terms of uh, the statistical analysis you do, you do uh, looking at who's an internet user or not. But it still matters, and, and it matters to people in this room, so uh, I'm, sh I'm going to show it to you. Uh, uh, right now, for just overall internet use, and I should point out that this question is, do you use the internet? We don't ask you how, we don't ask you where, we just want to know if, you've, if you consider yourself a user. So it's partly a self-definition question, but it's also not necessarily tied to particular kinds of, of access. And that these are not statistically significant differences. 89% um, of whites are internet users, 81% of, of blacks and Hispanics are internet users. It's, it's not um, an independent predictor of internet use or not. There's still um, uh, some, some story, some uh, relationship to this story uh, over time. Uh, again, when we were starting to look at this in 2000, being black or being uh, Hispanic was an independent predictor of non-use of the internet. It's, it's not the case anymore. The highest line here is Asian Americans. In our, in our normal everyday surveys where we talk to between 1,500 and 2,000 adults in our surveys, we don't quite pick up enough Asian Americans to uh, tell you month by month what's going on, but we can combine those data over years. And these are the story for Asian Americans, English-speaking Asian Americans, by the way. These, when we, we don't uh, give our surveys in multiple Asian languages, we do give them in Spanish. If you choose to um, take our survey in Spanish, um, you know, we, we talk to you in Spanish, and I will tell you a little bit about that data in a minute. But you can see there are, there are, there are some differences that are tied to ethnicity but they're not, uh, and race, but they're not too terribly strong. It's the broadband story is a little bit more interesting and, and more powerful um, in terms of predict uh, predictiveness. Um, if you are black or Hispanic, you are statistically less likely to be a home broadband user uh, than, than whites. But in mobile connectivity, uh, those differences go away. So an important part of the story in America is that particularly for blacks and Hispanics, mobile connectivity has narrowed the gap of access overall. There's a, a huge amount of, uh, of, of work to be done to understand what that means, uh, because it does provide you access. A smartphone is a, is a powerful way to get online and get the information you want, but it's clear that on small screens, you can't quite do the same kind of stuff, especially with a wireless connection. Um, you can't do the same kind of stuff as easily as you can on a, um, as a, a, a laptop or a desktop. And one of the things that we found in our data is that particularly when you're doing things like job search or skills upgrading or taking courses or things like that or filing even a resume for a job application, you, if you have a smartphone only or if you're dependent on your smartphone, you are sort of struggling more to do what you need to do compared with if you were doing it on a wired computer kind of device. So, so there's, again, there's an interesting uh, complexity in this story about access getting better for, for lots of groups in, in, in the culture who hadn't necessarily been online before, but it's a different kind of access and it, it does affect the kinds of things that they can do and the kinds of outcomes that they get. Um, smartphone owners by race, there's no difference now uh, among the races in smartphone ownership. 